Hi everyone, in this lecture we'll be discussing fuzzy complement and since this is part 1 only, so we'll focus on axiomatic structure of the fuzzy complement and the standard complement only. Students, if you remember, in the last lecture we used this fuzzy complement as we took a fuzzy set A and we said that A complement is is this fuzzy complement and we define the membership grade if membership grade of this fuzzy set at x is defined in this way we said that the complement has the membership grade grade 1 minus mu ax which is nothing but mu a complement of x this is how we used or defined fuzzy complement so in the same manner in the last lecture, when we were defining the complement set, where we used A union A complement. In the very last lecture, we used this. You remember? So this this is the last lecture. We used this A union A complement. In this A complement, we took this complement as, say, if mu A x is this, mu a complement we define as 1 minus mu a. Suppose x is a set which has say 4 elements. Let us define a fuzzy set and let us denote this fuzzy set by a as at 1 the grade is 1. Say at 2 4, at 3 it is 5, at 4 it is 0 0.6. Then A complement we defined as 1, comma. Now we'll use this formula. And this formula says that whatever you have, take 1 minus the membership grade. So here the membership grade is 1, 0 0.1. So 1 minus 0 0.1. So we are taking 0 0.9. Similarly, at 2, 1 minus 0 0.4. It is coming out to be 0 0.6. And third one, 1 minus 0 0.5, it is coming out to be 0 0.5. And the last one, 1 minus 0 0.6, it is coming out to be 0 0.4. It is 1 minus 0 0.6. So this is how we define this complement function. And yes, and this is correct also. And this particular type of complement is called standard complement. In this lecture, we'll give some axioms as per which these complements are defined. So now we can say, let us move like this by understanding this only. We can say that, let us write this formally. We can say that a complement of a fuzzy set A is a function C which is a function from 0, 1 to 0, 1 obviously because the membership grade lies between 0, 1 and it is defined as it takes the membership grade of A to mu A complement where A complement is defined as 1 minus mu A x. So this is the formal definition of a complement function. Now. In this formula defini definition, there are few things left. There are few axioms which a complement function satisfies. So we are going to write axiom 1. Axiom 1. What does this axiom 1 say? Axiom 1 says that it should be monotonically decreasing or it should be a monotonic function monotonic and in the bracket i am writing decreasing function monotonically decreasing function that is if membership grade of x is less than equal to membership grade of y then membership grade of complement of x what will happen students try to uh, i mean check using this so if mu a 
is less than uh, mu x is less than mu y then 1 minus mu x will be greater than equal to 1 minus mu a y and what is 1 minus it is nothing but c this is a function so first axiom is this axiom number 2 is says that it tells about the boundary condition so we can say it is the boundary condition and the boundary condition says complement of 0 should be 1 because 1 minus 0 is 1 and complement of 1 should be 0. So these two axioms, these two axioms are basically called the axiomatic skeleton. Matic skeleton. And if we see our definition, which we said that 1 minus mu x, in this case, it satisfies both the condition. Why? Because if mu a x is equal to 0, the membership grade of x for the fuzzy set A is 0, then complement of mu a x will be 1. True. Whole good. If the membership grade is 1 then obviously complement of mu a x is nothing but 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So both the boundary conditions are satisfied for our first case. Now there are two more conditions axioms and third is continuity And you can see that 1 minus mu a x, this function is continuous in the closed interval. This is continuous in clo closed interval. And last axiom, axiom 4, axiom 4, what does this say? It's it tells about the involutive property that is complement of complement of membership grade of x is equal to membership grade of x complement of complement of mu x is nothing but mu x this is what it says or uh, we can say a complement complement is nothing but a Okay, so let us check it for this particular type of uh, standard complement. This one, let us check it for this standard complement. So, uh, once we check it, it will come out to be complement of what is the complement of mu x? It is 1 minus mu a x, and then complement of this will be 1 minus 1 minus mu a x, and so this will be nothing but mu a x and this is satisfied for our this particular case so let us take a random example and let us see how the complement behave so suppose we have a triangular fuzzy set this is x this is y this represents our membership grade suppose we have this triangular fuzzy set Now we want to find the standard complement. So this is again the membership grade it represents. This is y axis, this is x axis, and we have to find the standard complement. Let us see. So if we take, say, it is uh, 1, it is 0. Say, let it be 2, let it be 3. So the complement function is like 0 to 1, the function will take 1 value. In this case, let us draw it again. Okay. Now, from 0 to 1, if this is 0, this one, the complement function will take 1 value. 
and from if this is 2 it will take it will take 0 at 2 similarly at 3 it will take one value suppose this is 3 this is 1 and then since the original function was taking zero value the complement will take one value so if this is a this is a complement so if i write here using uh, draw here using the dotted line this is the complement function the black line um, green line represents the complement function So this is for a general uh, uh, representation. Now let us move to a particular example. So we have this example ready, where we have to find the standard complement of the fuzzy set A, where the membership grade of fuzzy set is defined as this. It takes value zero for x less than or equal to two. Similarly, x minus two, one, five minus x, and so on. Now we have to find a complement of this function and uh, represent it graphically also. Let us find the standard complement of this function. So standard complement says whatever the membership grade is will do one minus zero. So what will be the next next one? X minus two. So this will be one minus X minus two. So what will be the next one? It will be one minus one. Next is one minus 5 minus x and next is last one is 1 minus 0. So 1 minus 0 is obviously 1. So 1 minus uh, x minus 2 is x minus 1. Okay. So this will be 0. This will be 3 minus x. So our membership grade is ready. Let us make the representation. First, we'll make the representation of our original. Original means our fuzzy set. So this is the fuzzy set. If we take this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will go till 5. If it is less than equal to 2, okay, for 2 to 3, it is x minus 2. So let this be 3. And before this, let this be 1 because this is a normal fuzzy set. From 3 to 4, it takes value 1. And then from 4 to 5, it is governed by 5 minus 6. So 5 minus x means at 5 it takes value 0 and at 4 it takes value 1. So this is our fuzzy set which is A. Where now we are going to draw the fuzzy set A complement which is a complement of A. So this is our fuzzy set complement. Again 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. So you can see for x less than or equal to 2. It takes value 1. So if this is 1 for x less than or equal to 2, it is going to take this value. And here it is x between 2 and 3 is going to value take value 3 minus x. So if we take this as so it's going to take this value. From 3 to 4 is going to take value 0. So obviously 0 is there. And from 4 to 5 is going to take value this. X minus 4 at 4 it is 0. At 5 it's taking value 1. And beyond 5 it's going to take the value 1. Okay. So this is the complement of A. So this is our example. In this lecture, we had discussed standard fuzzy complement only. In part two of this lecture, we are discussing more about complements.